Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about squelches. I've had a few questions about them, so basically I'm going to go through a few different things. I'm first going to explain how to actually make them, and then we'll show a few of their applications. Now I've actually started working on a project where they really fit well. This is kind of like an old school kind of project. There's a little bit more of a punch or a kick and a little bit more of old school type of drums than what you're used to from me. And I'm also taking this opportunity to play a little bit more with Vital. As you can see, I created this single patch here, which sounds really, really nice. And I'm going to turn this into a preset for an upcoming preset pack that I now want to work on in Vital. I recently released a preset pack for Serum, so now a good follow-up to that would be a preset pack for Vital. Anyway, let's just dive into what squelches actually are. And I'm just going to start off with the basics. As you can see, I have an initialized Vital preset here. And the idea of a squelch is very, very simple in that you have a saw wave, which is both pitch modulated as well as going through a bandpass filter. So let's start by setting up a bandpass filter. I like to go with 24 dB per octave. We'll give it a little bit of resonance, but not too much. And then we'll set up our pitch modulation as well. Let's go with envelope two here. We don't want to change the amp envelope here. We just want to have a modulation envelope. And we're just going to set up something like this so that you can get an idea of what we're actually doing. So I'm going to assign this to the pitch. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to inversely assign it right here to the frequency. So the frequency is going to move down and then back up and the pitch is going to move up and then back down. So just playing this, you get something that sounds like this. And this is the basic idea of all of the squelches that you're going to have. Now, obviously there's a lot of different things that you can do. You can play with the decay here. You might want to choose to have no attack whatsoever. This is kind of like your most basic type of squelch. And obviously you can play with the parameters. What you can also do is decide to go the other way around. So the easy way to do that is just to set up a long attack and no decay. And this is really a nice type of sound that you can use for one shots. To just demonstrate that I'm going to add a delay and a reverb. Let's just set this up into dotted ping pong mode. And you'll get something like that. So this will be used as a one shot. Let's just kind of dial it in here. I'm just going to, I guess where I can play this is right here actually, because I need a sound for this part as well. And I'm just going to play it here. Obviously I want to go to a lower octave so that we get that nice kind of low gritty sound. This is still a little bit too high for me. We'll make it a little bit longer as well. And now we have something like this. Give it a little bit more delay so that it covers that part a little bit nicer. Now there is a little bit more that you can do. What we can take a look at now is making some kind of sequence out of this. The way that the sequence is going to work is that we're going to basically do the same thing, but we're going to have this bandpass kind of move around on its own, independent of the modulation of the patch itself. So what that essentially means is that we have set up the same kind of modulation on the pitch. I'm going to go with a very short decay here so that we get to play very short, nice, like quick notes. Let's maybe lower this a little bit so it's not so extreme. And now we get something like that and as you can hear when we play with the bandpass filter we can really change the color of the sound so i'm just going to create a very simple pattern here and what i want to do is i really want to play with the octaves because this is really kind of pitching up and down you don't necessarily have to stay in key if you don't want to i just came up with this pattern here Nice little rhythmical section. One of the interesting things that I'm keeping in mind for this production is that I want to have these notes reflected in this pattern over here. So you can see that I am lining up these two notes here with these two notes here so that the pattern kind of continues but is elaborated upon. So now what I want to do is I've just quickly set up this macro here which we can play with. I am going to quickly enable my MIDI controller. So now we can play around and we can see if we can get a nice sound. One of the first things that I want to do is determine if the lower and upper bounds of these modulations are correct. And then we'll record in some automation for this particular sound.
I think that's a nice setup, so let's record some automation. Okay, so I'm just going to simplify this, simplify the envelope like that. And now we have an easy editable kind of envelope for this particular sound. Obviously we want to do a little bit of processing. And one of the types of processing that you'll often see is a little bit of uh, digital distortion, some downsampling. Of course we can bring out some of the frequencies with the multiband. add a little bit of delay and reverb as a standard. Again, we're going to go with dotted one over eight and then ping pong. What might also be interesting is to add something like a flanger to it so that we get a little bit more movement. I've just set it up in a way that I can just automate this upwards over time. And now to fit it in the mix, all I want to do is really remove some of the low frequencies. Honestly, this mix can come in a little bit later so that we start off with the normal squelch and then it just slowly goes into a flanged version. And you can imagine that there's a lot of different ways that you can just play with this sound, elaborate upon it, maybe add some glitchiness to it, maybe add some other effects, stuff like that. One last thing that I want to show is basically a combination of the two ideas. Uh, I'm going to quickly turn this off so I have some space to work with. What you can do if you want this kind of one-shot effect, but you do want to have like a bunch of different sounds, in the sense that it's just not one note playing, but a few notes at the time. What you can do is basically combine these effects and the way that I like to do it is just something like this, very like nice and fast. And again, I'm learning Vital, so I'll do this in Vital real quick. And we'll just add this again to the pitch. I'm going to go for a little bit more of a pitch, like modulation overall, like just having a little bit more range so that we have a little bit more of the frequency spectrum used. And in this case, I'll go for like the dirty bandpass just to give a little bit of extra tone. And then we can just automate the filter on top of this and we again can put whatever shape that we want. Maybe that's a little bit high of a octave. You get something like that. And one of the cool things that you can do is play with the note length really, because that's going to determine where the end point of the modulation is happening. And you can really hear that that brings out different parts of the frequency spectrum. So those are going to be squelches, that's everything you really need to know about them. Obviously there's a lot more that you can do, you can make it as complex as you want. One of the things that I quickly want to shout out is this single preset that I have here, which is from my new preset pack. This is called All Over The Pitch. And the cool idea that I'm doing here is that I'm modulating the starting and ending point and I'm basically randomizing both for the pitch, the starting and ending point, as well as for the filter. So you basically get this endless array of different squelches that you can use.
And you can just take a patch like this, resample a bunch of different variations and just choose the ones that you like most and place them as audio into your track. Or you can completely rely on the randomness if that's what you're after and just set up the patch in a way that you're just going to have different sounds all of the time. So that's going to be the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did by leaving a like and make sure that you're subscribed if you're new. Also check out my preset pack that I recently released on Gumroad. But that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.